But first up at 10, litigation on the menu for Grubhub. DC's Attorney General says it's taking advantage of restaurants and customers with jacked up prices and hidden fees. Fox 5's Lindsay Watts is in Northwest with what you should know if you're using the app. If this lawsuit is successful, DC Grubhub users could see some of their money back. We all know food delivery apps come with fees. The dinner I ordered at the restaurant here tonight would have been an extra three bucks on Grubhub. But what this lawsuit alleges is that in some cases, menu prices are also inflated, making that dinner even more expensive. In a lawsuit that Grubhub is calling frivolous, DC's attorney general's office claims the company isn't telling it straight when it comes to your money. Fees were not properly disclosed. Uh, delivery was advertised as free when there was actually a charge at the end of the day. Jimmy Rock is an assistant deputy attorney general in D.C. He says especially egregious. Grubhub launched a program early on in the pandemic that claimed to be about supporting restaurants. Called Supper for Support, where Grubhub told consumers, let's all help our, our restaurants right now in this, in this time when they're struggling at the start of the pandemic. We're going to give you a discount if you order from them. But we discovered that Grubhub actually required the restaurant to pay for the discount. Grubhub says that wasn't deceptive and restaurants could decide whether to participate. The company also saying fees and delivery prices are outlined in their terms of service that users agree to, as is the fact menu prices could be higher on the app than if you order directly from a restaurant. One of the restaurants highlighted is Good Stuff Eatery on Capitol Hill, where, according to the suit, a family of four could end up spending about 20 bucks more ordering on Grubhub, not including fees. We spoke to the owner off camera, who tells us restaurants can set their own prices on Grubhub, and her prices are intentionally higher on the app to offset the 15 percent she says Grubhub takes on orders, something that's not clear in the lawsuit. The AG's office tells us the issue is not that prices are higher, it's that customers aren't being told. It's important for district consumers to get truthful information from companies like Grubhub. Grubhub says it will be adding a disclosure at checkout, saying prices may be lower in store. Are you surprised to know that menu prices are actually cheaper in the restaurants sometimes? Honestly, not that surprised. Uh, it does seem like sometimes on Grubhub the, uh, the prices are a little bit more expensive than they need to be. Here at George Washington University, students say they can use Grubhub on their campus meal plan, so it's popular. For me, it's usually not worth it. Though, not with everyone. Oh, I usually prefer to just drive down the road and get my own food. No one from Grubhub would do an interview tonight. In a statement, the company says it did nothing illegal. And some of the practices outlined in the lawsuit, they are no longer doing. Uh, there could be restitution involved for consumers. However, that money wouldn't be coming anytime soon. I'm told litigation could take a year or even longer. Back to you.